So YouTube got this brand new Telstar call control system for Christmas. Let's see here. Cable's in the way. It came uh, new old stock straight out of the box. Fire number 407. Six six five six six five zero. Police number four zero seven three two seven one zero zero zero. Medical number four zero seven six six five six six five zero. Home number four zero seven. Three two seven zero one nine four. Identification code zero four one seven. The time is ten fifty five a.m. December twenty five. December twenty five. There you go. So I have um now. In uh, the 8-Bit Guys video, he said rotary phones don't actually work with it. They do work with it, sort of. Like, you can um, you can make an outbound call, but that's basically it. But you do get the system's dial tone, the special Telstar dial tone, and you can dial stuff. And it works. However, obviously, there's no star or pound on a rotary phone. Which is very interesting. I don't know why they didn't um, they didn't have like a prefix where you can do like one one you know one one four or something for ring back. I mean that would interfere with the uh, pots line in a way if you wanted to use a feature code there. But they could still have done something like you know they could have done like maybe. Three ones, you know, you go one, 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 and then the code or something. I don't know, something that wouldn't interfere with PST and dialing. But um, one thing that's interesting is in the Apic Guys video, the way he kind of described it, maybe I wasn't paying too much attention to the video, is I thought each phone had its own extension off of here. But it's actually not. It's completely passed through. You just have your... Uh, incoming line and then you have to the rest of the house um so the ring back on here which is star four pound is functionally just the same thing as doing this on a regular phone line Or just calling your own number. And then hearing the busy signal. And then hanging up. Which, um, my, I don't have that on my, on this line. I only have the 988 plus last four, um, call back by directory number. I don't have that thing. But, um, a lot of United Telephone, uh, DMS 100 offices, here in Florida will do that, actually. You'll hear the busy signal, and then you hang up on the busy signal very quickly, and then it will ring back. And I believe there's just one office that you dial your own number, and it will actually say you've reached a party on your own line. I think that's the, um, the not the Altamont Springs. Um, maybe it's Goldenrod. I don't know. I forget, but regardless... The intercom feature on here is the same thing as if you don't even have this. Because uh, it's usually available on your central office already if you dial your own number or if you use whatever revertive callback code you have on your central office. I thought that was kind of interesting because it's not really an advantage when you use this unit, that's not really something new that's usually, not always, but usually already a part of your phone service. So, 
that's kind of interesting. However, it does have a lot of cool features like uh, speed calling, getting the current um, date and time, uh, special fire number, you know, emergency services. Um, other than obviously it answers calls and that sort of thing. But just the intercom feature is very basic. It, you know, but yeah, so um, this is the documentation here. You can see it's never even been read. Ooh, for more information, call toll free 1 800 555 I have some questions. Let's try to call them. No way. No way, it actually still goes to QLT Consumer Lease Services, which is what American Bell dissolved into, I believe. You can see. You can still rent 500 sets from them for like 12 bucks a month. See, um, came with some stickers to put on the phone. So, I might actually take it off of this phone because I don't want it to 